welcome back guys to this next chapter so in, in this chapter i'm going to be exporting this so i've um i've gone around and uv the entire thing so let me just quick, quickly show you guys the uvs for this so if i should go to okay let me just bring out my let me bring out the uv editor let me change the workspace to my uv editing so let me let me close this for now. If I show you guys the UVs for this, though I, I, I'm going to be exporting this. I'm going to give you guys the object file to use also, so you can follow along. So I have I have this two piece. I have this two piece on the same UV space, and I'm now the, the only thing I kind of did here was to um. Like for example, in the previous tutorial, the UV was looking like this. If I unfold that, looking like this. So I selected that, and I did a straight in UV. So and then I did some manual arrangements in here, so you can see. So that's for that piece. That's for that piece. And then if I go back to object mode, now I have this piece. And these guys in the same UV also having his own zero to one space. So I'm going to select all of this with my scale to I'll scale this in a bit more. I don't want this to be touching I don't want this to be touching this bottom part. I want everything to be on my zero to one space in here, which is fine. So I go back to object mode. Going, let me bring out my outliner. I'll go to window, bring out my outliner. Yeah, I think I have I have a backup of this already. I've already made a back I've already made a backup for this of the low poly version. So still working on this on this piece. Let me go back to my modeling standard. So on this on this now I'm going to do an export. But before I do an export, I would like to I would like to select all of this and hit three to go to smooth preview. So now on this I'm going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to convert this smooth preview into actual geometry because now as this now it's just a preview of more subdivisions added on this. So I want to convert that preview into an into actual subdivisions. So selecting this, I'll go to modify. Let me do this one piece at a time so I can have some control over this. Oh so, yes. So go to modify. I'll go to convert. I'll click on smooth match preview to polygons. Smooth match preview to polygons. Then I'll go to my channel and layer box i go to smooth mesh on that smooth mesh i can control this so if i let me put this on one i want to have something fairly low on this so that's fine i'll go in here i'll do the same thing here also modify And then I would okay, let me quickly do something. Let me let me undo this. Let me do a save and then I can go back smoothing this. I can do my modify convert smooth mesh preview. On the smooth on the pre on the um poly smooth face subdivisions i'll drop this down to one i'll repeat the same thing for this other piece smooth mesh preview take this down to one select this smooth mesh preview Go in here, 
drop this down to one and on these guys I'll do the same thing for these guys modify smooth mesh preview um, let's see Yeah, that's fine this is okay so um, I'm going to do an export for this so I'm going to select this and this I'm going to be exporting this as one piece I will select go to fire go to export export selection under export selection let me see now okay put this on objects mode on obj i want to export as obj checking the settings to see if there's something i need to adjust okay that's fine so let me choose my directory so i've exported that so i'm going to select this the, this holding shift to select this I'll do let's see okay checking this I feel I should let me export this clothes as a separate piece this separate clothes as a separate piece so I, I, I kind of have more control over them so I will export this also so let me just let me name this clothes and I'll do, an, I'll do an export for this okay and I'll select can select this do an export for this let me name this wood back wood back now select this guy so, so this part will be my letter Be my leather exports so now that's fine so now i've exported all this now i can save this file again i think that's all we need yes definitely that's all we need so i'm going to close this save this again then now we can we can jump right into zbrush and then begin to export all of this export all of this in zbrush So so now now in ZBrush we're going to we're going to import those. Uh, so let me clear this canvas. Control N to clear the canvas. So I'll, I'll go into I'll go to import. So let me look for that file. So it's in here knife series under this basis. Let me start with the undo and pointer. So I'll click on open. Then I'm going to drag this out in here control and and to click canvas something like this i'll go to edit i'll hit f on this hit my space bar and reduce the brush size then f on this get rotate this around then I need to import the other 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 parts. So you, you, you need to come up, up here and click on imports. You just go to your go to your sub um, sub two panel. Then click on append. I'll just drop in a sphere. Then select that sphere. Then go to imports. Just re, just replace that sphere. Let me start with this clothes. So have that in here already I'll go to the next one I'll go to I'll go to append click on this select that sphere again go to imports click on this letter click on append drop another sphere in here select this sphere go to imports and click on this wood back so now I have all of this in here I have all of this in here. Then I'm going to go to my mat cap. 
going to be using a basic basic material for this so if i should hold out hold out i can select the piece i want to select so now to make sure it's on symmetry so i'll hit, hit x on the keyboard to go on symmetry okay this is fine this piece has been selected if i go to my move to as you can see, I have everything where I want them to be, which is fine. Q to go back to your draw tool. Okay. This is fine. Um, so, in the next chapter, we're going to start working on this. So, I can bring out my reference image. Bring out this reference image. Maybe I'll scale this out a bit more to so have more space in there. And scale this out. Maybe we'll start working from this piece. So in the next lesson, I'm going to be showing you guys how to. I'm going to be showing you guys how to start sculpting the details in there. So it's not saying we're not we're not going to be sculpting every single detail in there, but sculpting at least something that like this this one in here, sculpting that and this also. Then the rest of the job is going to be done in Substance Painter. That's where the rest of the job is going to be done in. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson where we we'll start sculpting some actual details on this mesh. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson.